Keeping mentally active and getting social interaction are two of the most important things that you can do to stay young. On Tuesday, July 10th, right here in Eden Prairie, Greg and I invite you to join us for a couple hours of brain-boosting fun. We're going to learn a little bit, have some laughs, and even enjoy a wonderful lunch. What better way to spend a couple of hours? So go to the website, check for some tickets, grab a friend, invite them on Facebook, do whatever you want, but we'd love to see you out here in a couple of weeks right here in Eden Prairie. Moody's Investor Service downgraded 15 major banks last week, yet financial stocks rallied on Friday. Wall Street was bracing for deeper cuts. Investors also liked a new accord in Europe. Germany joined France, Italy, and Spain in support of the $130 billion euro stimulus plan to help the EU economies in the face of upcoming austerity cuts. It could be approved at this week's EU summit. Even with last Friday's Dow dive of more than 250 points, the Dow is up 2% for June. In the view of the National Association of Realtors, a lack of cheap inventory was behind the 1.5% existing home sales fall during the month of May. The sales pace in May was still almost 10% better than a year ago, with the median price up almost 8% year over year to $182,600, which, by the way, is a two-year high. May housing starts fell to $708,000, down from April's $744,000. Building permits rose to $780,000 in May, compared to April's $723,000. The conference board's June index of leading economic indicators rose about 0.3% to 95.8, inching closer to the initial normal score of 100 that it was established with in 2004. The LAI was up about 0.2% in March and down 0.1% in April. A volatile week last week takes the Dow down almost, uh, almost 1%, and to be precise, it was down 0.99% last week. Friday, the Dow settled at 12,640. The S&P 500 lost over half a percent for the week, closing Friday at 1,335. The Nasdaq pulled off a 0.68% gain to get to 28,92. Oil dove last week over 5% on the NYMEX, closing at 79,76 a barrel. Gold retreated almost 4% on the COMEX to close at 15,66 an ounce. Gas prices also fell, uh, fell slightly. AAA's survey fell to $3.45 a gallon last week. And here's what's going on this week. The, Sur the Supreme Court ruling on the Obama administration's health care reforms could come as early as today or a little later this week. Also today, we'll bring the May new home sales report. Tomorrow, the April Case-Chiller Home Price Index and the Conference Board's June Consumer Confidence Survey appear. And on Wednesday, earnings from Monsanto, Lennar, General Mills complement, releases of uh, also the durable goods orders and May pending home sales. Thursday, European Union leaders meet for another summit on the debt crisis. Also, the final read on first quarter GDP comes out, along with new weekly jobless claims figures. And on Friday, May consumer spending data on June's final University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey arrived, plus earnings from KB Home and Constellation Brands. That's what we're looking at this week. My name is Eric Hagan. And I'm Greg Petrie. We'll keep our finger on the pulse of the economy and report back to you next Monday. Well, please join us then, and until then, head to our websites and feel free to subscribe.